Hey everyone, this is Christian Mataraz, and I'm just going through a quick, um, I guess, little t tutorial, I guess I would call it, about the MyLab accounting offered by Pearson for the Accounting One text that we use. Uh, the textbook is College Accounting, a Practical Approach by Jeffrey Slater and Deborah Good, and the 14th Canadian edition. So within that text, there is the MyLab accounting, and I've set up a shelf for that. So if you um, do a Google search for My Accounting Lab or something like that, you'll find the, the link for Pearson. There's also information in the textbook that tells you how to get here. To register, you would register now as a student. One thing that you'll need is you'll have to have a valid email address. You'll have to have my instructor's course ID, which is in the uh, within the course in the student section, student resources. I have the course ID listed there. And then you have to have either the access code that comes with the textbook or a credit card or PayPal to pay for the registration. The registration, if you don't have an access code with the textbook, the registration is $49 um, to get access to the online course. This is through Pearson. It's got nothing to do with me or the college. And for $90, you can get access to the course plus a full version um, of an e-text of the textbook. So you actually get access to the text and to the My Accounting Lab for $90. If you are um, if you have multiple monitors, this might be an option for you. I wouldn't suggest having, for a big text like this, having just an electronic copy, unless you've got multiple monitors where you can have the text up while you're working on the assignments uh, in Excel. Switching back and forth between pages is kind of a pain. So you would go and say, OK, register now. You would put in the course ID. Um, which in this case was my last name, 82394. And then you would create a Pearson account. You would fill in your information, email address, um, security questions, etc. Hit create account, and then it asks you to enter the access code or to pay. Once you do that, you would log into the account. You come back to the same page where it says sign in. Log in with your information, so I've got my college address there and my password, and then I sign into the course, and the courses that you have will be listed there. So the Mataraz 82394 course would be listed, and when you click on that, it brings you up to um, your course content. Now, I have the instructor's version, so I'm not sure exactly how it looks, but what I can tell you is that on there's nothing really valid in here. There's no gradebook set up. There's no assignments to do. This is all for self-learning um, at your own pace. So there's no assignments that are set up in the course. There's no homework tabs. There's nothing like that. But some of the things you can do is um, going into the study plan. It just shows how to answer the questions. There's a little bit of math review. Um, going through the different chapters. If you do the all chapters part, it actually comes up with a lot of different study plan concepts. So you can work through each of these chapters. Um, you know, Let's look at something, preparing a trial balance, for example. And it'll say, well, here's some of the different examples you can do working on this and going online and practicing one of these examples. So this is a try it 2-3. Click on the icon to view the trial balance. So this is bringing up the trial balance for me. These are the figures. And the question says, prepare the income statement, begin with the header, and then complete the rest of the statement. So it'd be, well, I'd come in here. I click on this as a drop down. Here's the header. The next thing I need says I'm doing the income statement and I'm doing it for the month ended blah 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 for the period and then once I do that I'd say check my answer say oh well done so there's those things that are in the study plan section so again you go to study plan all chapters and then you can pick and choose different things to work on um, there's if you have the the code from the textbook. There is the online text that you can check out. There's a dynamic study module. If you click on that link, this dynamic study module, clicking on that 
will take you to this other section. And again, this is all run through Pearson. I don't provide any support if there's things that go wrong or not. Um, but you can go through these different chapters and going back to here, you can say, you know what, I want to start learning on chapter two. And it'll bring up some different examples of questions for you to work on. We go through an introduction. So this is solely meant to help augment your learning. It's not part of the course. It's not for marks. It's something that you can do um, just to help you cement the concepts. Um, questions like this. The following balances are taken from a company's trial balance. What is the net income? It's like, oh, geez, what's the net income? So there's a lot of stuff here. Um, cash, well, that's not really part of the net income. Accounts receivable, that's an asset account as well. There's sales and there's operating expenses. So those are income statements and withdrawals. Withdrawals, I remember, are on the balance sheet as well. They're not income and expense accounts. So if I'm looking for net income, that's the difference between sales and expenses. So it looks like it'd be 15000 Once you click on this, you can actually say, you know what, I'm not, I'm not sure. Or you can double click it and say, yeah, like I'm 100% sure that this is the right answer. And then as you submit, it'll tell you, it'll say, yeah, you know what, you were sure and you're correct. And it tracks this. It's a nice way to see, you know, if I'm not sure, if I'm just kind of guessing, you can click things to say that you're not sure on them. So that's another area that's within there. Um, let's see, what else is within? Oh, the chapter resources. That was the other section. So if you click on the chapter resources, you can go and you can take a quiz or a test. Now, these are all just samples that have been set up, and they're not for marks. You can practice these as much as you want. So again, going to the chapter resources where it has the assignment saying take a quiz or a test. And that will have a number of different tests that you can work through. And you can start going through the test as many times as you want. Um, the nice thing is that these test questions are actually pulled from the test bank, which are the same or very similar to tests that are within the actual course. So that's maybe a very beneficial resource for you. There's also flashcards that you can go through that'll help with your learning. You can choose the chapter that you want to work on and then start working on the different flashcards helped with your, uh, your memory. There's a multimedia library. So in here, you can do all chapters or just look at one chapter and perhaps there's um, for all the chapters, you can say, well, let's just see what's available for Chapter 2. In Chapter 2, there's uh, there's some videos available. There's flashcards for Chapter 2. There's worksheets for Chapter 2 that are available. And then there's online textbook reading for Chapter 2 in that summary. So there's all sorts of stuff in here. And lastly... There's this link and when you do that it will bring up chapter summary tests it's going through and I'll say well here's a copy of uh, from previous versions of this test and then it's going to answer key at the back for the chapter summary so this is another opportunity for you to practice your own learning to go through this chapter summary test and once again th this isn't stuff that I don't support it I don't do tech stuff with this it's not for marks it's only for you to help reinforce your learning so uh, with that said and done uh, I hope you take advantage of some of these things uh, even just to pop it and just um, try it out these courses are intensive and they take quite a bit of um, quite a bit of work to get through the assignments. On the other hand, I find that when people spend a lot of time learning these concepts early on and going through the proper procedures for posting and not taking shortcuts and not rushing through their work, their time management's a lot better. So uh, um, all I can say is try it out. It may not be for you, but just try it out and maybe this will help. So that's all I've got for now. If you have any questions, just post them to me uh, through the in-course email or my college email or 
leave a, a note in the discussion group. Take care.